There is a place in the world where nature and men make the passing of time an important element which connects with the ancient philosophy of the Greek world, the respect for life. In Mediterranean countries, the respect for life is part of people's cultural roots. But in the mountains of the Sila National Park in Calabria, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This respect fuses with the culture of food as part of the soul. Here, in the shadow of secular pines, time dictates the regulations of pork meat transformation, processing and conservation. Time and natural secrets, necessarily useful at different stages for the creation of salami, using the Cuomo patented aging process. The Accademia Italiana Stagionello leader sums up the passion of a man who holds centuries of farming traditions today. You have to use the entire meat from a local meat. Over the years, a lot of scrupulous research and studies have made it possible to develop two lines of work. Master on the care of salami. Master on the aging of meat with the patented method and system. The products obtained from all of this mark the unique fusion of secrets kept by farmers of old, teachers in the art of Italian pork butchery. The first rule is you cannot do DOP Coppa di Parma if your capocollo weighs less than 2.5 kilo. Yeah, but your fridge. The international masterclasses for traditional salami organized by the Accademia Italiana Stagionella, is the only course in the world of international vocational training which involves specific cultural studies with promises of very high standards. Uh, I agree with Alessandro Cuomo that we have to show the real tradition about salumi. So also the slaughtering done in the traditional way and especially the work of the specialized butcher in cutting, preparing, mincing, uh, filling the casing. I think they would get an important uh, uh, matter of thinking. Mm? I know, and this course is confirming to me that they really want to come to Italy to learn this. Regarding other food experience, you can go somewhere else, but for cured meat, you have to come in Italy. The master in salami takes place exclusively in the Sila National Park, where the natural secrets of ancient masters regarding the care in traditional Italian salami are revealed. Well, it's, um, it's a very old company, actually. One of the oldest in Norway. It was founded in 1828. Uh, there have been ups and downs with the, with the company during all these years, but uh, recently, the last 10, 15 years, we have grown from being a small local shop with the producing things behind in, in the same building to, to um, uh, invest in a new factory. We have grown quite much and uh, uh, have developed many new products and uh, we have spread our products all over the country. Uh, so now we are looking further and uh, want to go on and uh, to be here is part of that, uh, to, to, to see if we can find other good products that we can introduce in Norway. And um, of course, Italy is famous for the food 
and uh, here is to go back to the original. I think I can say I get more than I expected out of the course. Uh, it's like a new world is opening uh, in the way of doing things. We have done things with more chemicals, additives and so on. So here we, we see that it is possible and it's a part of the trend of the time also to, to, to make more pure products, not so much additives and the preservers and uh, for that, this has been more than I expected. Students will undertake a week of intense training, 56 hours of study and work, 8 hours a day in which to explore theoretical and practical knowledge, learning how to evaluate natural ingredients such as salts and spices, substituting chemical additives. Daily experiences are shared and directly experienced in places characterized by production processes from breeding farms, cuts to aging and innovative techniques but with an ancient heart of traditional conservation. I, I work for a company called Freddie Hirsch whose main um, core business is casings and spices into the meat industry. Um, so I would go around uh, in Zimbabwe and also various countries in Africa um, developing products with people who are looking for new products to develop and also doing startups with factories that uh, they would buy the equipment for us so we would go and uh, install them and start them up and teach their staff how to make various products. Uh, the, the market for salamis uh, is, would be very good. Um, most people will import their salami from other countries. Uh, very few people know how to make salami, have the, 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 the knowledge to make salamis properly. So they might make them, but they won't be a, a true salami. Um, so I think the, um, the prospects of making salamis in Africa, I think, is very, very good. It is a journey in time through the secrets of an ancient art, rediscovered by the Cuomo method, patented by Alessandro's passion, who created a unique training package which reforms, on a whole, the figure on top of the traditional Italian food chain manager. In uh, Norway, I'm a sausage maker in a little butcher shop in Stavanger city. And uh, mostly I present a discount uh, with the meats. And I also make a kind of salami, a Norwegian kind, where we put in nitrate and starters and sugar. So basically here I learned how to go back to the start and make all those kind of things without it. So I didn't know it was possible, but it seems to be. So I've learned a lot here. Oh yeah, I will say it, it more than that. I didn't, have, I didn't have that expansion of this course that it would be like this. So I basically learn how to go back from the start, how to treat the pig and how to feed the pig and go all the way from the start. I will recommend it to, to all. It, was, it will be a big experience for people to come here and see how they do it here because I didn't know it would be like this. In the Sila Mountains, in the silence of the valleys, the sacrifice of the pig is revisited for the students. It is a moment that represents a millennial culture of eating and a renewed passion from the master. They will understand that Calabria is not second division region in terms of food. Uh, there is not only Tuscany and Piedmont, and I am very proud that they really tried the southern region. Food on the Calabrian Plateau has never been just a memory or a pleasure, but always and first and foremost, love, family culture, respect for the past. The reason I first came to Italy was the simple fact this tradition of making salami. My father's Italian um, and we make it at home and I just want to make sure that what we're doing is the right way about it, going about it. And simply is to hone my skills, 
I guess, in salami making. We do it at home. It uh, was attracted to the Stagionello way of making salami in a, in a modern way, but yet a traditional, a traditional way. So that's the reason I'm here. Um, with my fellowship, I received the fellowship that I received um, was basically based on education, what I can bring back from Italy to bring back to Australia and, and, and share that knowledge. I think um, with the fermented products that were being shown, I believe we can do something with that um, using the Stagionello. Uh, it's, yeah, it's been a quite inspirational week uh, for me personally. And uh, I look forward to you know, using these skills that I've acquired over the last week. I certainly hope that that's a case that we can do that. Um, we have a fairly draconian sort of system with our laws. It's in, in Australia, it varies state by state. So hopefully with my report when I get back that I can speak to you know, the relevant authorities and supporting, uh, supporters of what I'm trying to achieve. Um, so with a bit of luck using this technology that, that I've, well, more so the, uh, the edu knowledge that I've gained and the technology with the Stagionello, I think it's going to be, a, a, it's going to be great. Really going to help me. At international level, Cuomo's method has been recognised for years. A traditional Italian patented method. It is unique in the world, where research and meetings have allowed Alessandro Cuomo to rediscover the secrets of salami conservation from old Calabrian experts. The spontaneous genesis that determined the high quality of artisanal products, Cuomo started a long journey dedicated to the study and control of the natural phenomenon. Additives of any kind are prohibited. The secret tradition is based on using an algorithm of several microclimates which utilize temperature, air and humidity as the sole ingredients. The product in Africa is uh, very... Uh not, not the same quality, not the same flavour profile, not made the same. It doesn't have any of the properties that your proper salami has here. Um, so coming on this course obviously has given me a, a, a great insight as to how to put the product together and what is required to do the product and get it to, uh, to be a much better presentable product than, and, and than what I've seen through, through the countries that I go to. The skillful use of hot and cold appropriately dosed in a scientific way by Alessandro Cuomo, return quality and unique as well as natural flavours. An important enterprise which has led to the master on meat ageing with a patented method and system, a worldwide success. Well, this has got the most um express sort of operating systems and it's very stable on the beef it happens very quickly it doesn't tie up my inventory dollars and it's a really fantastic uh, consistent product best on the market the masters of academia italiana stagionella are popular in the philippines as in the united states in south africa as in holland england and estonia different locations and distant from each other but from which a strong bond with the roots of a land, Calabria, is developed, which thanks to Alessandro Cuomo's patented method, has been able to restore ancient and precious secrets of traditional food conservation.